once your order online page is ready, what you want to do now is link it to your Wix website. So for example, if this is your Wix website and you have your uh, view menu button here and you have your uh, home page about us, all these different tabs, what you want to do is you want to link this to this. This was the page that was created for you based off your Clover inventory. So what you want to do is you want to link that so your customers can now order online because as you know, uh, the Wix uh, only shows your menu. The people When people order, it doesn't send it to the Clover. So what we want to do now is send those orders to the Clover. So we have to link it to the page that was just created for you, which is your order online page. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the back end. Remember, the back end is the one you got the username and password for. The first thing I usually like to do is I like to upload my logo. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to click on this button here, uh, which says D-I-V-I -I right there. See it? Press theme options. And then just upload your logo right here, logo. Upload it right here, press the upload button. And then choose your logo from the media library. If you haven't already added it, press upload files. Uh, since I've already have it uh, uploaded to my media library, I'm just gonna select it. Again, this is optional, you don't have to do this. I'm just showing you how to do it. And then once you do that, go towards the bottom of the page and then press save changes, okay? So once you do that, uh, press save changes. And then now, now that I've pressed save changes, let's go ahead and take a look at what my logo looks like on the page here. As you can see beforehand, there is no logo. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and show my logo. If your logo does not appear after you refresh the page, what you wanna do is you wanna click on this button here, where it says theme customizer. And then you'll see a button here where it says header navigation, header, sorry, this one right here. And it should have a button that says uh, hide logo image. You want to uncheck that box. There we go. See how it just popped up? The logo just popped up when I pressed unhide or uncheck this button. Uh, again, uh, you may not have this issue, but if you do not see it, just uncheck this button right here. Let's get right to the, let's get right back to Wix now because these are optional things I was talking, uh, I was mentioning. You don't have to necessarily do this, um, but I want to show you how to add your logo and also to show you how much customizable your order online page is. So now let's go ahead, go to your Wix backend. Again, this is very important because this is where you'll make, uh, this is where you'll link your website. So the first thing you'll do is uh, copy and paste your URL for the order online page. This was emailed to you, okay? So once you get the link, uh, you copy and paste it, which I'm doing right now. Okay. I went ahead and copy and paste the link. Now I'm gonna go to the uh, website. And I'm going to link to, to this button right here, order now. And I'm also going to link it to here too. Because uh, you want people to see your menu and then and then start ordering. So you want them to link it to both sections. That's what I re would recommend. Now let's go ahead and go to the uh, dashboard. Here's your Wix dashboard. Once you log into the back end of your Wix dashboard, you're going to press site actions, edit site. Okay. And when you edit the site, you'll see the back end of your Wix website. Uh, once, wait for that to load. Once it's finished loading, you're gonna change the links. See, I have this link right here, and then I have this button right here, which was view menu. You wanna change both of them. So let's go ahead and start with the buttons here. What you wanna do is press this button, press it right here, and you'll see an option to manage the menu. Press manage menu. And you'll see your order now button, which we saw earlier. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and change that. Um, in Wix, uh, the way to do it, the best way I do it is I I would just add a new one uh, and just delete the old one. So I'm gonna press add add a link, and then it's gonna ask me what kind of link is it? Is it an anchor? Is it a web address? Pick web address, and then copy in the URL here. Remember, this is the URL that was emailed to you, and it ends with .smartonlineorder.com. This is what it usually ends with. That's how you can tell if it's your order online page. If you see this dot smart online order dot com, and we're gonna open it as a new window, and then we're gonna give it a name a little bit different than the original one. We're gonna say order online, just like this. Okay, so we have order online, and I'm gonna press done here. Once I press done, I'm gonna remove the old one because we want people to start ordering online, not just viewing the menu. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me see what it said here. Let me do one last thing. 
I want to show you something else. Earlier, I had deleted this button called Order Now. Um, remember, you can also hide it. So I'm going to go ahead back and uh, I went I press undo and just hide it. So hide it, you know, and people can't see it and they only see this button. So instead of deleting it, just hide it. I think it's better to hide it. Okay, so I want to go ahead and do that. And then I want to go over here. There's one more button I wanted to uh, change. Uh, it's called the View Menu. Uh, I want to change the link on this one too. Uh, so go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and work on that one. We're going to leave the design exactly the same. The best way to add a new new uh, button with a new uh, link, you just go over here and press the plus sign and then press add button. Um, there should be a button box here right there. And then, um, yeah, so choose a button here. You can, you can have a circle, different colors. Uh, let's just make it stand out. I'm going to choose this button here. And I'm going to put it, uh, I'm going to put the button over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag the button on the very top here. And I'm gonna call the button, uh, I'm gonna link it again uh, to a web address. I'm gonna paste it here in the new window and then done. Uh, I'm gonna change the text of the button to order online. Okay, and then I'm gonna just get rid of this one. Cause this one doesn't, I noticed this one didn't have a link to it. So I'm gonna delete that one and then move this one up here. Okay, and then I can I can copy this button. Uh, for example, I'm gonna I'm gonna double click it. I'm gonna copy the button right here, and I'm gonna put it probably uh, down on the website too. Oh, actually, there's another one right here too. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, they have a button here as well. But since we are already replacing this page with the order online page, so we don't need to mess with that button. But we are gonna go and uh, go to other pages and change that as well. To see other pages on the website, to add buttons and make changes, click on right here, menu the pages, and then go to that page. So right now I'm on the home page. Um, so if you, if you look, scroll down, you can tell it's the home page. Uh, it'll say home, or in this example, it says Casa. So again, uh, we have the button here called see the menu, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna paste that thing I mentioned earlier, which was the order online button. I'm gonna paste it right here. And I'm gonna uh, delete this because it's better to have an order online button. We want to get people to order online, not just view the menu. Of course, you can do that also. Uh, that's up to you. But I'm just gonna have an order online. We want to get some more orders. And uh, the rest of the social media. And I usually I usually try to end up end the uh, end the page with another button as they scroll down. Uh, try to get them to get them to order online. And I'm gonna add one more button here. Just paste it. Um, paste right here again so I did it so I have this button uh, multiple times on the website and that's pretty much it I got all of my buttons here I'm gonna press publish and it's done now let's go ahead and take a look and see what it looks like I'm gonna refresh the page now uh, I have my order online button here and let me actually uh, make that a little bit bigger because it's kind of small I'm just going to expand that. See how I expanded that? Just like that. Uh, again, you can do however, which color you want, but I'm just giving you examples so that, that way when you do add your buttons on your order online page, I mean, sorry, on your Wix website, uh, you know how to get started on that. Um, and that's that button there. Let me go ahead and publish again because because uh, I made some I made the button bigger. Let's see what it looks like now. I'm going to refresh the page. There you go, that's better. I think that looks much better. So we have order online, order online, order online. And then we have uh, reviews. And then uh, as I scroll down, give them one last chance to order online. There we go. So we have the buttons all over the place, as you can see, uh, to get the customers to order online. And that's how you add your uh, order online button to your Wix website. Um, and there's other videos on YouTube as well. Um, there's other ways of doing this. Um, but this, this is one example that you guys can follow. And then look what happens when I click on it now. I'm going to click on it, and now it's going to take me straight to my order online page so that I can view the menu and start ordering online and have these orders print and be sent to my Clover POS. Again, you can customize even the look of this page too, which is in other videos. So make sure to watch the other videos on YouTube if you want to learn more about customizing this page with different colors and different uh, backgrounds and adding pictures, images, description, all that stuff. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day.